Hello, I'm Didet and today I'll show you a video how to install an ARC 2 e custom pumper bubble without an exploit game. You only need a random PSP based game. So this random PSP based game could be any of these. It could be any of these except for Tekken because it's a PS1 game. And it could also be most of these. So you just need one random PlayStation Portable game that you own on your PlayStation Vita. Let's say I'm going to use Uno. This Uno game is really small, it has like 20 MB and otherwise it's just your everyday normal Uno game. So you can see it's starting this game loft screen and so on. So what do we do? At first we are using the content manager and create a backup of Uno. This is important because we might need the backup of Uno at a later time. So at first I'm going to copy from PS Vita to my computer, applications, PSP other, and I'm going to copy my Uno game from my Vita to my computer. So far this is everything we have to do on the PlayStation Vita, and the other things we have to do will be on the computer, and the last thing we have to do is once again on the PlayStation Vita. Okay, on the computer we have to download one of these. It doesn't matter which one you choose, it's just important that you choose one. So I could easily download this Puzzlescape one, and it doesn't matter if I don't have the Puzzlescape game because we don't need it. So at first, as you can see, I have now this Puzzlescape EU ARC installer, zip. But that doesn't matter. We have this ARC folder and we have this NPES and so on folder. But before we continue, um, on my computer I have my PS Vita stuff saved in documents, PS Vita, P game. Then one of these folders with the super long name, uh, numbers and letters, and then we have a function of these folders. If I check one of these random folders and then into SCE this, we see the icon of our games. So I know this is my 101 mega mix um, backup on my computer. This is my Corpus Party backup, and so on. You have to search the game you just copied from your PS Vita to your PC. And I know that NPEH00020 is my UNO game. If you don't know your game ID, just search for all these folders and check the icon and somehow you will find it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're going to copy this folder to somewhere else. So I'm just going to create a new folder, call it Backup and put it in here. Because now I have a independent backup of my base game. As you can see, this base game is UNO and I have an independent backup because CMA is not reading this backup folder because it's not a PSP game or Vita game or whatever. So the only thing we need to know is, uh, where is it, NPEH00020 is our base game. If you choose a different base game, your game will have a different ID. So just don't stupidly copy my ID if you're not UNO. This ID will only work with UNO. With the European owner that is. Okay, back to our zip file. We have this ARC folder which contains a few files and we have this NPEZ folder which contains a few files but we only need the pboot.pbp. We extract this pboot.pbp and now it's in our downloads folder. But this is not a problem, it can just stay there. Then we extract this ARC01234 folder and we have to copy this folder to our PS Vita directory and files and for me it's documents, PS Vita, P save data, then one of these folders with these fuck ton of letters and numbers and then we copy it in here. I already had this so I'm going to override these files and there we go. Now we have our arg01234 folder. <coughs> if this is done we go back to our downloads folder or wherever you saved your zip file and we still have to deal with this pboot file. Um, for the pboot file, I go now into my Thunderbird and have to send myself an email. Um, I'm sending myself the email with the subject ux0 psp emu slash and then in capital letters psp slash game slash and now we have to insert our game ID. For me this game ID is npeh00020 and then slash pboot.pbp. So this 
should always look the same with the exception of this. The NPEH00020 part has to be different, but everything before and after this has to look the same. So the path is always ux0 psp emo slash psp slash game slash your title id slash pboot.pbp. Next thing is we go to um, attachments and then we select our pboot file and edit as attachment. Then we right click our attachment, rename it to hash zero. If this is done, we send ourselves the, an email. <clears throat> By the way, depending on your email provider, it might flag the email as, um, as spam. As you can see, my email provider is gmx and my gmx email provider changed the subject from ux0 whatever to gmx um, spam verdacht is the German word, so it suspects this is a spam mail. Um, you have to temporarily disable the spam filter of your email provider if it's changing the subject. It's important that the subject must not be changed. The subject has to be ux0 psp emo slash psp slash game slash your title id slash pboot.pbp. If this is given and if this is as it should be, like the subject title id and with the attachment hash zero, then we've done everything we have to do on the computer, and then we have to go back to our PlayStation Vita. If this is not how it should be, you either just create a random worthless email, or you just disable the spam folder of your email. Okay, back to the PlayStation Vita. Okay, back on our PlayStation Vita, we can close the content manager, but because at the moment we don't need it and then we have to activate our Wi-Fi and then we go to our email application. In my one hour long video I've showed you how to properly set up the writer.email thing and how to dump your app database. If you don't know how to do this then please watch the other video or only the parts of the video where I explain how to use the writer.email stuff. Because without using the writer.email stuff this won't work. So I assume you already properly set up your email application. If you did so, you just check your inbox and check for the news file. The news file for me is this ux0 psp emo slash psp slash game slash nph0020 slash pboot.pbv. If you have properly set up your email application, this hash0 file should have a photo icon. If you did not properly set up your email application, this hash zero file has not a photo icon, but like a question mark or something. If this is a question mark, you've done something wrong. So let's assume you did everything right. We click on this picture and we should get a cannot display this image error, which is good. Then we close the email application. Then we disable Wi-Fi and 3G or whatever your PlayStation Vita has to connect to the internet. Then we remove the USB cable and turn off the PlayStation Vita. The next thing is we restart the PS Vita, so I turn it on again. There we go. And while I'm turning it on, I'm putting the USB cable back into the PlayStation Vita. If you're asking yourself why did I remove the USB cable while rebooting the PS Vita, if the PS Vita has no power, so it's turned off, and the USB cable is inside of the PS Vita. The CMA program on your computer will crash. So either you have to remove the cable when you restart the PS Vita, or you have to restart CMA on your computer. So, okay, the last step is on our content manager, we're going to copy some more files. The first thing we're going to do is, okay, we copy from PlayStation Vita to computer, and the thing from the Vita to the computer we're going to copy is our base game. I chose, I randomly chose Uno as my base game, so I'm copying Uno from my PS Vita to my computer. If this is done, we close the content manager and reopen it and copy some more files. Because now we have to copy two more files from our computer to our PlayStation Vita. The first thing we have to copy is what we changed on our on the folder on our PlayStation Vita, which is the ARC2 save data file. Yes, I want to overwrite this.
By the way, if you get an error code that you cannot copy any files from uh, from the computer to your PlayStation Vita, then keep in mind, this looks now horrible, you can right click the QCMA on your computer and you have to manually refresh the database after you changed any files on your computer which have to do to the, with the PS Vita and which should be copied to the PS Vita. So if you manually, manually refresh the database, QCMA is going to recheck all your folders for changed files. Just a heads up. Okay, the second file we have to copy is under PSP slash other and it's our base game. In this case it's Uno. Now I'm going to copy, copy not copy, what the fuck. I'm going to copy Uno from my computer to the PS Vita, but I'm doing it twice. I'm going to explain why in a minute. Come on, finish. Okay, I'm going to copy my Uno from my computer to my PS Vita two times. And if this is finished, we can close the Content Manager application and remove the USB cable. There we go. Okay, if we now go back to the place where our old base game was, I mean in this top left, no, top right corner my UNO was located in. And now it says ARC2. If I'm going to start this, it should launch ARC2. Keep in mind that the ARC2 files may not work on version 3.36 because these ARC2 files are designed for the firmware 3.52. So you can possibly get an error message with this. But this error message should not appear because if your PS Vita is running version 352 and the exploit game, no, the base game is also for 352, then you can easily use the 352 files on your 352 PS Vita. But whatever, um, this is a base menu of ARC. I'm usually using a modified version. And this PS Vita currently is running version 3.36. I mean, as you can see, here's no uh, updated PlayStation icon and so on, so it's not on 350. But if you don't trust me, I have a PlayStation Vita, which is running on a 3.50 version, which also has one of these arc bubbles. As you can see, I have an arc bubble over here. And interestingly enough, this PlayStation Vita is even running version 3.55. And it's important to say that you can use this trick even on 355, but the important thing is you have to create the bubble first. At first you have to have this bubble, and after you have this bubble, then you're allowed to update to 355. If you're already on 355, you cannot replicate this. So yeah, this trick um, was pretty much designed for version 352. So if you are on 352, you can easily use this trick and get the ARC2 eCustom firmware bubble on your PlayStation Vita. This is easier than the method of uh, Major Tom and Mr. Gas, but keep in mind that this method only allows you to um, add this ARC2 eCustom firmware bubble. That's pretty much everything you can do with this method. With the Major Tom and Mr. Gas bubble trick, you can um, change the icon and do a fuck ton of different things. So yeah. This is pretty much my video to the ARC2 eCustom firmware bubble. This is easily doable on 352. You only need one random PSP game. The files we have linked in the description below, um, an email account and Thunderbird on your computer. And since I was talking about heavily modified bubbles via Mr. Tom's method, look at this beauty. I can easily change the background of the bubbles and the icon, so super easy to do. So if you want super nice bubbles like with custom background and shit you should use the method by major tom and mr gas but if you want super easy arc 2 bubbles like this one you can just use the method by quick razor because this is really super easy a child could do this this is so easy so yeah this this was my video about the custom bubble the quick razor custom bubble Quick Razor Arc 2 custom bubble for version 352 and below, and technically also for 355, but only if you created the bubble first. 
So yeah, I'll do that and see you soon.